Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Wii emulator, which is called Dolphin, on a Linux machine. I'm using Ubuntu, you could use another machine if you want. And this will allow you to emulate Wii games. Just a little disclaimer this video is not condoning piracy. The game that I will download and try is a game that I already own in a physical copy because it is legal for you to dump the game yourself this is just a little easier for me to download it but i've already got the game and it is Wii Sports, which pretty much every console apart from the later wii's you know inc was included so again this video is only for legal educational purposes okay so first of all you want to go to your web browser and go to dolphin and from here you want to go to the download option you will not see a linux option here so what you want to do is scroll down keep scrolling till you get to, to the linux distributions go to the first option install in dolphin and then what i actually recommend is the development version because though this stable version is very stable it doesn't get updated for quite a long time the development version you know i've always had great you know experiences with it so it's usually fine and if you are on an older version make sure you use these commands as well so what you want to do is copy this first command copy that go into terminal paste it in there and you'll ask you for your password type it in it won't show it in you know character form or you know hidden asterisk form or anything like that but it is you know reading it and click enter again it these commands may take a little longer for you because i've already run them before creating this video just to you know test it and next go to the next one which is updating the built-in list and this one will be quick and now finally to actually install dolphin copy that install it and again yours will take a little bit longer you might need to confirm something by clicking y and enter so you can open dolphin by doing dolphin dash emu here and clicking enter or the more elegant way as in it's right here another thing i wanted to show is there are other distributions and they do provide other commands and other instructions so you are covered next let me show you where i got my game from roms mania Again, I want to confirm one more time that this video is not condoning piracy. I am doing this for educational purposes and make sure you physically own the game that you will be emulating. So go to the Wii section and like I said, I'm doing Wii Sports. So here, click the download button and you'll start downloading. I'm going to cancel it because I've already got it downloaded just to save time. You know of you having to watch it and you'll pop down here any second now okay it's taking a little longer than usual so, so say click here Okay, so it's taking a little bit longer than it usually does. Usually, it's literally less than five seconds. Okay, I'm gonna close this tab from here because if you go through these steps, you will start downloading. You know, maybe the servers are a bit, you know, you know, under heavy usage, but for some reason it's being a bit slow. But that's where you would download. Then you want to go to your download directory, and you'll get a 7z file, which is a zip file. You can just double click it. If you have another way of extracting it, feel free to use that any option is fine so now let's actually open up dolphin so go to here it's right there and there are a bunch of options that you can change you can go to configuration you can enable cheats you can change the interface and a whole bunch of other cool stuff you can connect usb aspect ratio you can insert an sd card i'm going to let you you know feel free to go through all that I'll go over graphics in a actually let me go over graphics now. Make sure you have a back end selected, just select OpenGL, that will be fine. And again, you can modify these like showing the FPS, VSync, etc. Do enhancements like I usually do have a higher 
certain internal resolution i usually have you some for somewhere around about six seven or eight i usually ramp up the anti-aliasing and the anisotropic filtering as well just because i'm recording it it will slow down a little bit and or you could do that is the reason i have these on the default settings but depending on how powerful your computer is feel free to you know experiment with those we can get like a real crisp text and real crisp edges in your game and what else do i want to show you okay the next thing is the controller settings and from here i will actually show you them in a second something important i want to do first and they exactly open the game so go open and go to your directory wherever your games are double click it and here we go so let me increase this in size I've turned the volume down just because you know you probably won't be able to hear me so for me it is a and b are the left and right mouse buttons that's the default and we're going to go to tennis i think it's working but let me just you know show you it working in game and go to guest a that is fine and i want to take you to a certain bit where you may occur have this error um, let's go through this it will so it says unplug the extension controller i'm just using a keyboard and mouse I'll, i'm gonna have a separate video covering how to connect you know an actual wii remote to it wirelessly but you know feel free to check out that video but you know what extension controller by default if we go back to dolphin by default if we go to controller settings and we can modify you know the gamecube controller so we can connect a bunch of other controllers we can configure it if we are playing a gamecube game so this will work for gamecube as well next what we can do is you know connect to wii remote we can do an emulated wii remote or a real wii remote so let's stick with emulated for now go to configure and obviously click one and three is the mouse keys but it is saying that uh, that there was an extension and that's because by default there's an extension of nunchuck connected there and we can go to none and there we go it's gone to okay now and we need to be able to emulate swing so you can go to motion controls the, the pointer already has you know it's already been configured tilt and swing have not been configured i don't need tilt for this game so feel free to configure it you know for other games but i'm going to configure swing so swing up i'm going to put on the numpad as well up down will be down left and right don't need forward and backwards feel free to experiment with the speed the distance the dead zone all this cool stuff these are stuff that you cannot do in you know on the way also feel free to change these you know keys as well so you can map it to a gamepad so that's it and now let's play we should be ready to play now so this will be me playing using the number pad here we go i will win this game oh that was terrible. I don't know how I messed up there. Boom. I thought they wasn't going to get that back, but they did. Gonna let the back player do this. Uh, forget it i'll leave it there and we can just close it down right like so okay so that is how you set up dolphin on a linux machine to emulate wii games and gamecube games also you can double click this which allows you to select a folder which will be your main game directory so all your games appear here with you know thumbnail and cover art and all that cool stuff so if you have a dedicated game directory feel free to do that option or you can just click open that's it. Any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.